टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट रिफ्लेक्टिंग द ट्रू स्पिरिट ऑफ कॉपरेटिव फेडरलिज्म द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज कमिटेड टू बोल्स्टरिंग द हैंड्स ऑफ द स्टेट्स इन एनहांसिंग देयर कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट टूवर्ड्स क्रिएटिंग प्रोडक्टिव एसेट्स एंड जनरेटिंग रिमनरेटिव एम्प्लॉयमेंट द स्कीम फॉर फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस टू स्टेट्स फॉर कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट हैज बीन extremely well received by the states in deference to the request received during my meeting with chief ministers and state finance ministers the outlay for this scheme is being enhanced from rupees 10000 crore in the budget estimates 2 rupees 15000 crore in the revised estimates for the current year for 2022-23 the allocation is rupees 1 lakh crore to assist the states in catalyzing overall investments in the economy these 50 years in trust free loans are over and above the normal borrowings allowed to the states this allocation will be used for pm gati shakti related and other productive capital investment of the states it will also include components for supplemental funding for priority segments of pm gram sadak yojana including support for the states share digitalization of the economy including digital payments and completion of ofc network and reforms related to building bylaws town planning schemes transit oriented development and transferable development rights in 2022 23 in accordance with the recommendations of the 15th finance commission the states will be allowed a fiscal deficit of 4% of gross domestic product of which 0.5% will be tied to power sector reforms for which the conditions have already been communicated in 2021-22 as against a total expenditure of rupees 3.83 lakh crore projected in the budget estimates 2021-22 the revised estimate is rupees 37.70 lakh crore the revised estimates of capital expenditure is rupees 6.03 lakh crore This includes an amount of rupees fifty one thousand nine hundred seventy one crore towards settlement of outstanding guaranteed 
liabilities of air india and its other sun dry commitments coming to the budget estimates the total expenditure in 2022-23 is estimated at rupees 39.45 lakh crore while the total receipts other than borrowings are estimated at rupees 22.84 lakh crore the revised fiscal deficit in the current year is estimated at 6.9% of gdp as against 6.8% projected in the budget estimates the fiscal deficit in 2022-23 is estimated at 6.4% of gdp which is consistent with the board path of fiscal consolidation announced by me last year to reach a fiscal deficit level below 4.5% by 2025-26 while setting the fiscal deficit level in 2022-23 i am conscious of the need to nurture growth through public investment to become stronger and sustainable i will now move to part b of my speech honorable speaker sir i take this opportunity to thank all the tax payers of our country who have contributed immensely and strengthen the hands of the government in helping their fellow citizens in this hour of need drawing wisdom from our asian texts we continue on the path to progress the proposals in this budget while continuing with our declared policy of stable and predictable tax regime intend to bring more reforms that will take ahead our vision to establish a trustworthy tax regime this will further simplify the tax system promote voluntary compliance by tax payers and reduce litigation india is growing at an accelerated pace and people are undertaking multiple financial transactions the income tax department has established a robust framework of reporting of tax payers transactions in this context some tax payers may realize that they have committed omissions or mistakes in correctly estimating their income for tax payment to provide an opportunity to correct such errors i am proposing a new provision permitting tax payers to file an update return on payment of additional tax this updated return can be filed within 2 years from the end of the relevant assessment year presently 
if the department finds out that some income has been missed out by the SSEs, it goes through a lengthy process of adjudication. Instead, with this proposal now, there will be a trust reposed in the taxpayers that will enable the SSC herself to declare the income that she may have missed out earlier while filling her return. Full details of the proposal are given in the finance bill. It is an affirmative step in the direction of voluntary tax compliance. Currently, cooperative societies are required to pay alternate minimum tax at the rate of 18 and a half percent. However, companies pay the same at the rate of 15 percent to provide a level playing field between cooperative societies and companies. I propose to reduce this rate for the cooperative societies also to 15%. I also propose to reduce the surcharge on cooperative societies from present 12% to 7% for those having total income of more than rupees 1 crore and up to rupees 10 crores. This would help in enhancing the income of cooperative societies and its members who are mostly from rural and farming communities.